Is there anything I can do to help around here? Speak with Izran. He has something for you. Oh. Izran never gives me assignments. Farewell. I hope we reach Ancestor Glade soon. That ought to be interesting. I was told you have an assignment for me. The Jarl's in danger. A vampire plays as a visiting advisor to the court. Destroy it before it's able to complete its foul business. But be warned, the Jarl's guards are unaware of the threat and will treat violence against this advisor as a crime. Mm. Convince the Jarl of the threat and he'll let you destroy the creature. If not, then do your best not to get caught. Quickly now. The longer you delay, the more danger the Jarl is in. Well, I don't think that I'm Thane yet. Not officially, at least. But I, I have helped him out previously, so hopefully I can convince him. Stay alert. Well, you too, I guess. I have the strangest feeling that maybe this vampire advisor has already taken their first victim. None of the other guards seem to care, even though they're just right out in the open. Who are you guys fighting? What are you attacking? Oh, no. Well, it's no vampire. If anything, this is a little bit easier to get the guards to respond to. Try to convince them that there's a vampire in the Jarl's court. They're not going to be as quick to uh, believe me. If anything, Someone it's a little something. embarrassing for everyone else involved. Is the dragon flying away? Can I hit him? Please hit him. There we go. Perfect. Now, if you could find a nice place to land, that would be great. Or you could just keep flying and ignore dragon rend, I suppose. From me. I mean, he's not hiding, he's glowing. Where you? Um, you yeah, alright, well, Serana, you wanna fly off into the mountains later? Maybe find a dragon there? He landed somewhere in the mountains. We'll keep an eye out later, I suppose. What do you need? What you say? I need to ask you yes. to stop. That over this town. Shouting uh -oh. is making uh -oh, uh -oh, people uh -oh. nervous. Guard behind you, behind you. Uh, it won't happen again. Good. Glad we straightened that out. Oh. This is bad. See, and now the advisor can say, look, I'm not a vampire. If I was, I would have joined in with this assault. I would have joined in with this vampire attack earlier on. I'm... Trying not to attack anyone who's innocent. I was mainly trying to make sure that I didn't hurt anyone from Falkreath itself. I think we're okay. I think we're alright. Serana, who did you raise? Oh, Serana, why? Well, good news, I don't see the advisor right now, so maybe I good have see you. a private moment with the Jarl. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. I'm glad you feel that way. My Jarl, you're in danger. A vampire has infiltrated your court. That's quite a bold claim. I'd need proof before I could possibly accept it. Hmm. Farewell. Well, can you do me a favor and not... Tell your advisor that I came to you with this claim yes. in the meantime? what is it that you want? Where is your advisor? I'd love to talk to them. Oh. Hello. Hmm? Hi. Yes? They'll let anyone in these days, huh? Because you're all sorts of ominous looking. Serana, keep an eye out. Let's see if he goes to sleep anytime soon. Although it's night, so maybe we're gonna have to wait till morning. 
It's not the most subtle way of doing this, but hey, I have all that vampire dust. I've made a few potions of invisibility at this point. Let's see if this works. Infiltration orders 56% chance to steal. Perfect. The irony being that they are wearing a ring of sneaking. Get away from me. I'm not even looking at you. Don't worry about it. I'm just doing my job. I'm just helping out the hold as much as Good I can. Good to see you. Bolin speaks much about the war and the storm cloaks, but he knows who provides. Well, war's over, you know? My Earl, now do you believe me? You're in danger. A vampire's infiltrated your court. Which... Farewell. Sorry, let me read the letter for myself first. <laughs> let me read it to you. Sojourn a while in Falkreath. Infiltrate the court of Sidgir. If you can gently guide the Jarl towards our best interest, uh, if that proves impossible, invite him or a member of his court into the family. It's far easier to direct those sharing the bloodthirst towards our shared interest. See? Yes. What is it that you want? You're in danger. You're welcome that I took such a vested interest. Well, I trust you'll take care of this unwanted visitor. My guards will not interfere with you carrying out my justice. Do you mind if I do it right here in your longhouse? Until later, then. Would that be okay? You get away from the Jarl. I see you. Hi. I wish I could tell him the jig was up. I wish even without warning the Jarl, I could just tell him the jig was up and see if he did anything. Hmm? Hmm, indeed. <laughs> it's you to mess with me. Help! It's fine, he was a vampire. It's fine. Can we have someone, um, maybe just clean up this mess? Well, my Jarl, have a good evening. You're a lot safer now than you were five minutes ago. Be mindful. My maid, Tikla, has been known to pass information to that pompous nephew of mine, Sidgir. Oh, you mean the Jarl? You said you were Jarl once? Aye, not so long ago. Some will tell you I stepped down on account of my old age. Truth is, I found out about all the Imperial spies crawling around Falkreath. A few well-placed bribes and... They bought themselves some friends. Suddenly, the nobles are calling for a new Jarl. And all the while, their pockets are jingling with the sound of Imperial Septons. They named me Thane. They got my nephew Sidgear in my place. A real friend to Cyrodiil, that one. I mean, you know your main currency is the Imperial Septum, right? Is there something you need from me? You may have seen the open grave in our graveyard. Most of the townsfolk think it's the work of a corpse thief. The truth is less pleasant. It is, was, the grave of Vigar, my own ancestor, dead for centuries now. He is also a vampire. My family is entrusted with keeping him buried. But recently, someone stole the ward stone, and Vigar escaped. And you want me to find the ward stone? No, it's too late for the ward stone. Vigar must be destroyed. If this gets out, my family will suffer great shame. Uh, all right, well, I'll see to it that Vigar is destroyed. Good. He will have fled to gather others of his kind. All right. Hope to see you again soon. Man, Falkreath is just lousy with vampires, huh? Vampire attack, vampire advisor, vampire ancestors, just vampires everywhere. Including right 
here. What now? Okay, was just curious if you had anything else to say. Don't worry, we'll find the glade. Uh, no, I know. I know. We'll also keep an eye out for that dragon. It's all kind of in the same direction, too. The dragon is in the mountains, the ancestor glade is in the mountains. Bloodlit Throne, where we'll find Vigar, also in the mountains. I hope those, um, boots are a little water resistant. I hope we reach Ancestor Glade soon. Well, we'll see about that. Well, we seem to have something to discover nearby. Is that already the Ancestor Glade that I can see from here? It is. Wow, all right. It also looks like we have a little bit of a path of a road leading up into the mountains. I kind of want to deal with this ancestor vampire first. If anything, that seems like a pretty pressing issue. That seems like something we should deal with sooner rather than later. If they've holed up with vampires, other vampires, they might be planning another Stay attack. For all we know, they you might have led something. the attack that we just faced on oh, Valkyrie. Sure. No, normally you want to wait a little bit um, until your target's closer before you spring your trap. Normally it's you best to wait Lord, until your enemy is actually going to get hit by the falling boulders and... Well, you threw a cauldron in there, too, for good measure, I see. It's right, finished her off. We got another over here. I see you trying to run. I also missed. So we're just going to ignore all of that. Yeah, Serana, keep an eye out. We need to find this road up into the mountains, which... There's something else in this direction as well. Uh-oh. Who's there? Is that gonna be an ancient glass golem? Oh, he was really charging at me. I thought he was gonna close the gap. I thought he was gonna really, really just you. attack me and just throw his fist into my face. I'm glad he didn't. Hopefully this is the path we were looking for. Hopefully this is... The road that I well wanted to you. find. Ooh. Is that the best you can do? Uh. Oh, is this a... Okay. I saw two orc bandits. I thought it was just going to be a group of orcs specifically, but no. Done and done. I should probably put my helmet back on just for good measure. Yeah, let's see what we have around here. We have this bandit camp. It seems to lead to a road. I'll take the ingredients. I'll take them. Yeah, hopefully this is the path I was looking for. Hopefully this is going to lead right to the Ancestor Glade, to Blood of the Throne, to anything else that might be hiding up here. In Falkreath Hold. This isn't as treacherous as climbing the 7,000 steps to the throat of the world, but it feels very similar. And I know Serana's never had that chance, never had that opportunity to climb the 7,000 steps to either High Hrothgar or the throat of the world, but... You know, this is really the next best thing, when you think about it. So Ancestor Glade discovered we have... Two locations, three locations, in addition to Bloodlit Throne itself. I feel like this is a good place to hide. Just up in the mountains, you don't have a lot of people who are going to go out of their way to climb up here. It's very secluded, very isolated. It'd be a good place for people to hide out. You know what? I really don't want to hurt this husky. So if they're gonna be hostile, they're not hostile, so we're gonna leave them be. Serana, just let's keep moving. We're not gonna invade their personal space, all right? They just wanna be left alone, and 
honestly, I can respect that. There's no reason to bother them. There's no reason to give them any trouble at all. What's going on here? I was just saying, this is a good place to hide out. Did we just find a bandit camp of sorts? I'm not sure. Hello? Are you... alone? Up here? Sure looks like it. Name's Anji. And if you try anything stupid, I won't hesitate to put an arrow in your head. A uh, message received. Calm down, I'm not here to hurt you. Sorry, a girl can't be too careful out here. Like I said, name's Anji, and I've been living out here for a couple of years now. Why live out here all by yourself? I moved here from Helgen after my family was killed. At the time, I couldn't stand to be around anyone. They all felt sorry for me. And I didn't want them to. It was my problem, not theirs. I'm sorry about your family. Who killed them? Two Imperial drunks who thought they were above the law. Do you need me to take care of them? Already did. Oh! Part of the reason I'm living out here now. Thanks for offering, though. I mean, last I heard, uh, you know, murder is maybe a thousand gold per person. Do you need... 2,000 gold by any chance? I'm sorry to hear about your family. Don't be like them. Don't feel sorry for me. Well, what are those uh, targets for? I set up those targets a long time ago. I shoot at them from time to time. Don't want to get rusty with my bow. Are you any good with your bow? That I am. You know how to use one? Oh? Uh? I mean, let's just say Hirsin would be jealous. Well, let me know if you ever want to practice. If you need a bow, there's one on the rack to the left of the door. Let's see if I can teach you a few things about using a bow. Oh, alright. Well, I'm going to need to borrow one. Looking to practice, stranger? I I'm gonna need to borrow it because... Right now, all I have is, um, a crossbow. Looking to practice, stranger? Yeah. I think I'm ready for some practice. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. My father was rarely home, so it was my mother who actually taught me how to use a bow. She always said composure was the key to a successful archer. If you can remain calm, even in the midst of chaos, your arrow will most likely find its target. Okay, let's see what you can do. Remember to stay within the boundaries and only use the practice arrows. I have some if you don't have any. I have ten. Aim for the middle target. Let me just grab some extras. Just to be safe. Nice shot, right on target. Thank you. Now hit the target to the left. Great shot. Now hit the target to the right. I always hate trying to figure out compensating for distance. Nice shot. Right on target. All right. Let me know if you want to practice some more. Next time we'll make it a little more challenging. Oh? Need something? I want to hear about this challenge. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. How challenging are we talking? My older brother took me out hunting a lot when I was little. At the time, it was difficult to keep food on the table, let alone have enough left over to sell at the market. So whenever we came across more than one deer in a single location, it was imperative we kill as many as we could. If you can learn to keep your composure and trust that each shot is true, then you should be able to quickly handle multiple targets. When I tell you to, try and hit each of the three closest targets in eight seconds. Okay, in eight seconds? I can do that. I'll count to three and then say go. You have eight seconds to hit each of the three targets. 
drawstring and get ready. What, just once for each target? In eight One, seconds? Two, three. Go! Hey, watch it! One. Oh, I don't think that hit. You did it! Oh. All three targets in eight seconds. Okay. Nice job. I, I couldn't tell what the Let second one. Let me know if you want to practice some more. Next time we'll make it a little more challenging. I couldn't tell because I couldn't hear it hit. Great job hitting those targets. You definitely surprised me with your speed and composure. Why, well, thank you. I'd be up for some more practice. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. We've talked about speed and composure. Now we'll go over precision. I think you missed all of them. Oftentimes, you won't be able to get as close to your prey as you'd like, and you'll have to settle with a long shot. It doesn't look like you're hitting it. However, with such a long shot, it's more than likely that's the only shot you'll be able to take before your prey runs off. If you find yourself in such a situation, then you need to make your shot count. I'm not sure you're Don't doing rush that. your shot. Crouch down, get comfortable, and take aim. You're not crouching, though. Okay, your turn. Try and hit the target way in the back, far behind the other three. Remember to take your time and make your shot count. Are you gonna count to three, or can I just do it whenever? Nice shot, right on target. Thank you. Let me know if you want to practice some more. Next time we'll make it a little more challenging. Huh? How much more challenging is it going to get? Are you going to make me do a speed competition for all four? Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. I have a feeling it's going to be a speed challenge. We've oh. talked about composure, Wait. speed, and precision. How many... Arrows do I have now? now? Am I going to need use more? All three at once. Uh oh. I'm warning you now. This challenge will be quite difficult. All right. Just remember everything I've taught you, and you should be able to complete it. It may take you a couple of tries, but that's what practice is all about. You know, I did say Hersine would I be jealous. To, try and so now I gotta back myself up. In ten seconds. Ten seconds. Okay. I'm going to go for the back target first. I'll count to three and then say go. You have ten seconds to hit each of the four targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Go! All right. One. Hey, watch it! Two. I think that hit. Three. Four. I think that went over. Hold on. Time's up. Better luck next time. Oh, all right. Well, let me try again. I... You, I... I would like to try again. Sure. Give me another shot. Until next time. Eight arrows, I can do it. And then say go. You have ten seconds to hit each of the four targets. Draw a string and get ready. I'll save the fourth target for last. One, two, three. Go! I just went too slow the first time. Stop that! And now, oh god, oh, hit the fourth one. You did it. All four targets in ten seconds. Nice job. Thank you. I... Is there anything else you can teach me? I think I've taught you everything I know. You might even be as good as me now. Why, thank you. Kind of scary if I think about it. Well, you know, I, I had some practice before this. This isn't my first time using a bow. Well, thank you for helping me out. It was my pleasure. It's not often I get visitors out here, let alone friendly ones. Thanks for sticking around and keeping me company. It was nice to finally meet someone out here who doesn't want to rob you or take off your head. Right? I know it isn't much, but here, take this bow. It was given to me by my family. It's special to me, but brings back too many painful memories. Why, thank you. Remember, composure and speed. You don't need to see your arrow hit before moving on to your next target. Trust your shot is true. I'll come back at some point. It sounds like you wouldn't mind having some 
friendly company again. Angie's bow. It's a nice bow, I like it. If nothing else, I'll make sure to hang it up in one of my many, many homes. Do you need something? I'm ready to head out if you are. I know you'd miss me. Well, I just had you hang out here while I practice with bow and arrow. You know, it's really only been a few hours, Serana. This is it. Bloodlit Throne. It's an old fort. Take it the vampires, um... Took over a while back. I assumed that after it fell into disarray and was abandoned by whoever held it originally, most likely the Imperials, that the vampires said, Hey, this looks nice. Hey, this looks like a great place to live. Who's out there? Vampire guards or just more huskies? Serana, leave them alone. Serana, Run! there we go. Nope, and Serana decided be gone now. to kill them anyway. Are you proud of yourself? You're, um... You're not a dog person, are you? It's kind of what I'm taking away from all of our adventures right now. Let's maybe take a somewhat stealthy approach to this. I did get some more silver bolts before I left Fort Dongard. Let's put those to use. Oh, was I standing on the trap that entire time? Nope, but Serana is. I triggered it, though. I very much recognize that I'm the one who triggered it. Uh-oh. A, um... I don't know if you're technically part of the Dawn Guard at this point, but they're definitely talking about me at the very least. It was very nice of them to hang all these fire pots above their heads. Very convenient for me. Can I hit any of them? Oh, yes I can. What's that? Oh, he just escaped it, but one of them ran through it, You're so getting the best of me. still works out. Still not bad. Today was a good day for archery for me. Today was a very, very good day for my archery skills, huh? I know I have my level up. I'll use it pretty soon. You just had to raise them. I... Well, I still managed to get it off of them, but... Tough day for you. Really, really well. Their, uh, vampire dust. That'll teach you. Just for good measure. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, I haven't seen any gargoyles outside of them. Um, well, no, I saw them in Dim Hollow Crypt as well. So I was going to say outside of your family's home, but that would have been a lie. Uh... God, I really hate when you do that. They were already undead, too. The vampires were already undead, and then you just have to raise them again. Nope. Well, that's barred. Uh... It's just the most terrifying, most gruesome sound ever, and it's gonna haunt my nightmares worse than the Soul Cairn did. Uh... Yep, there she goes again. I'm gonna go ahead and use Aura Whisper, switch back to the crossbow. Can't shout just yet. I also need to recharge my bow. Which I'll do momentarily. Well, not bow, my crossbow. Black soul gem, common soul gem, and we are good to go. Uh... If anything, your vampire's gonna give us away. All the other vampires are gonna hear, uh, and just come after us. It's like an early warning system for them. 
Uh, Are you seeing this? It's fantastic. Okay, don't compliment the vampire lair. Makes me wonder which side you're really on. Is someone there? Oop. There's something out there. Well, I did increase my sneak, but he just took that bolt to the chest and did not care at all. What a trooper. Show yourself. There you are. Oh, oh I managed to hit both of them with that. One's dead. There goes done the other one. Done. Yep, get ready for a fight because this place is Wait. filled with no. these bloodsuckers. There's no blood here for you. I know I got uh, sanguine vampires. I'm just not going to heal it until we get a little bit further through here. I feel like it's not going to be worth it until we maybe clear out this area because I'm probably just going to get infected every couple seconds. I cure myself once and I just get it again. Oh, we have another one over there. Okay. Hello? Wait, where are they? Are they in the cage? Oh. Just a wolf? <laughs> Sorry. Not the most noble way to die, now is it? Let me go back to the main chamber. Let me grab some vampire dust. Scroll of Blood Tether deals 80 magic damage in a massive area around the caster. Doesn't sound like my kind of spell. Maybe it's Serana's kind of spell, but, you know, if she wants to learn it, if she wants to use it, sure. But I'm not going to hand it to her on a silver platter. Too much hiding. The mortals are weak. He's a coward to fear them. Serana, I think that's your, um... Can't stand this hunger. Your oh, summon. Me. I'm saying all of that. Maybe we should be a little concerned about that. This looks ominous. This doesn't look great. And who is this? It is no matter. This fool will be the next act of the show. Oh, I'll put on a good one. If there's one thing I can do, I can put on a show for you. You'll find that I don't go down so easily. Uh-oh. Now ain't this a surprise. Oh, did you raise that? Yeah, you raised the orc. Here, let me help you, Mr. Summon. I won't fall for your tricks. And off you go, or... Oh, 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 no, because they're still raising the death hounds. There goes Vigar. I thought he, I was going to go up to him. He came down to us. I've got colds tougher than you. I won't fall for your tricks. I will say I'm suffering from a little bit of a cold right now when you come to think of it. Sanguine vampirus. It's the worst kind of cold out there. To the kind that, if you're not careful, is gonna stick with you for life. Oh, you're dead. Oh god! Oh, she's running! She's running! <laughs> there she goes, and there goes the summon. Just jumping after her. Vicar didn't have anything interesting on him either. He um, was pretty much just a run-of-the-mill enemy. Maybe he left the good shit in here. Emerald, sure. Seven gold, I guess. Uh, Nothing that exciting in the end. Well, at least now, hopefully, uh, Falkreath might be a little safer from possible vampire attacks. Because as it is, this would have been the third one this week for Falkreath. And one vampire attack, sure. Two vampire attacks, okay. Three, that's too many for any one city. 